てめえは一体白雪姫<笑> Lady Snowblood. That's just a tight name. Just a tight assassin name. What is what did you guys pick up the form? We're back to if yet another movie reaction, you guys. Today we're watching Lady Snowblood from 1973. Yes, another Patreon request for a foreign film, a Japanese foreign film to be exact. And I honestly couldn't be more excited to get into this one because honestly. All the foreign films that this certain Patreon member requests all hit it out the park. Better yet, he knows what I would enjoy when it comes to movies, so that's good enough for me. Per usual, as you may have guessed, um, don't know anything about this film, never heard of it. Um, I like the title though, Lady Snowblood. Sinister. But enough juxtaposing, guys, we're going to get right into it. But before we do, hit the like and subscribe button for your boy. Check out the Patreon for full-length reactions and the ability to request movies for yourself. And without further ado, let's do what it do. Where the hell are they delivering this baby at? That does not sound good. Those title credits are dope as hell, though. <laughs> Come on in! It's clean! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, snap! Give me a stucco! Serves y'all right. <laughs> yeah, I did strike first. She lives by her name. It might be early to say, but I'm getting a lot of uh, Kill Bill vibes here. Like, Kill Bill was inspired by this movie. Especially the first volume one. Even this intro music. I feel like they played something like it in the series. <laughs> Lady Snowblood. That's just a tight name. Just a tight assassin name. <laughs> What the hell are they up to? They know she can end them all, right? Like, easy. Oh no. Y'all got this all messed up. <laughs> yes. わしらの村を。この者たちを探していただき当存します。竹村万蔵、塚本。あの騒ぎに便乗し、小市村の人々を騙し、長平逃れと称して。やれんこともなかろうがの。じゃがお前さん、一体何を。その典型なるものすなわち白装束の男現れなばこれ新政府の先兵とてわたくしはこの村に新しく赴任してきた小学教師のうるせえ死ねおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお
修羅の道に進むましょう。Oh, that's messed the hell up. Kill the kid too? Damn, man. Her whole birth, her whole coming into this world was a damn tragedy. That's why they keep calling her the daughter of the netherworld or the. something like that. <laughs> Damn. Bro, these blood effects. Abby Stab was like a blood water fountain. I love it. That's like the darkest childbirth story ever. Jura no kotaru be kuin ik. Doukai no te ni yori te hagishiku yuki o uchi ita. Doko mi doru? Me o miro? Washi no me o miru da. Oh no. Damn, man, he has no mercy on her. Oh, no. They're about to use the real thing. Okay, that's scary. She drinking her own blood? She got that flip down pat now. The signature move. Why is she throwing them into the water like that? <laughs> she has to have the name. That has to be one of the names of one of her victims. Or targets. Soon to be victims. <laughs> <笑>まだいたのかあんた。いや、今日は本当にすまなかった。おい、ゆかのペアバックオーライ。さ、ひでの旅に出かけようか。That's cold as hell. <laughs> I'd snitch if I were you. She's probably still gonna ice you, but. <laughs> Damn. Yup, there goes the blood splatter. There we go. Girl, those eyes, man. That stare. She is scary as all hell.
<laughs> she had to throw him from the mountain too. No face, no case. Kishiro. Isn't that one of our other victims? Her targets. <laughs> she had to attack the tombstone. She was not happy someone got to him first. Or something got to him first. She's gonna kill that last one twice as hard. ま、ヘビシボって<笑><笑> Now, he really published a story about her. <笑>あ、ヒロリパブリッシュストーリーアバウト。必ずやおこのもそれを読むに違いなかろう。さすれば、おこのは必ず動き出す。本当に来た浜おこのは動き出すでしょうか。正体を表すでしょうか。<笑
How in the hell does she cut the whole body in one slash? It's never all over. やっぱり生きていたのか。錯覚であればと願っていたが。ああ、いいか、わらずだな。10年前私から逃げ出した頃と少しも変わっていない。間もなく日本は戦争に突入するだろう。福国強兵軍備拡充の折。これ以上余計
that without a doubt Kill Bill got some inspiration from this film maybe not even inspiration maybe it was damn near just based off this film alone and I'm not sure if um, Tarantino has ever came out and said that but it is just plain evident I mean with the revenge plot um, the heroine the main heroine in this um, mirrors uh, the main character in Kill Bill a lot and of course the whole final fight scene um, in Kill Bill where Oren was wearing that Japanese garb and they're fighting in this snow garden type of place uh, it had to just be uh, obvious nod to this movie but aside from Kill Bill and the inspiration that it got from this movie um, I really loved the way they told this revenge plot I love how it started off as this like basic revenge plot and the more they got into it and the deeper they got into it is the more tragic and sad that it got like the movie made it evident that Yuki was born from tragedy and from that tragedy she only brought others tragedy and ended up dying or I guess she was supposed to die from the same way. That whole theme was displayed in the movie in a great way. Um, but aside from the themes, the actress that played the character herself was amazing. Amazing to watch. Like, she really embodied that character. Um, those close up of her eyes every time would get you, man. They would, like, genuinely scare you. <laughs> I love when actors can just, like, completely just act through their eyes. You can tell all of their expressions just through their eyes. Uh, she was one of those type of actors. The fight scenes were actually really fun to watch. Um, as you guys probably can tell, I was a fan of the blood spray effects. Um, that's, I feel like that's a staple in all like old 60s, 70s, um, Japanese samurai type movies. All in all, I feel like this was a thrilling movie. Um, definitely a great story, uh, great revenge plot. Uh, very visually appealing. Um, I feel like there were a lot of critiques on uh, the Japanese political state at that time. Um, of course, it, most of it went over my head. Um, but, but this was definitely a treat, man. I love looking back on pieces of art that influenced really popular pieces in current times. Like Kill Bill is like one of the most popular current movies ever. And I feel like not many people, not just me, but not many people would know that it was heavily based on Lady Snowblood. And the original content is usually always much darker. And that was definitely the case with this one. They had some very dark themes in this one that blew Kill Bill out the water. I mean, I thought Kill Bill was pretty dark when I watched it the first time. Guys, thank you for joining me on my reaction to Lady Snowblood. Leave me your thoughts in this movie in the comment section below. Click the like this video, subscribe, and catch you in my next one. Peace.